Should probably go deal with the Corpse Brigade quest. Reasons to leave the house. Because work makes me, and for food. That, that's it. That's the list. Yeah, where I'm gr from, it's been pretty wet and chilly today. Or I am not... S it wasn't rainy when we went out the one time. But I don't really know when it was. Oh, good lord, that is a lot of them. Unfortunately, they're all kind of pushovers, so... Okay, that bit's done. But the good news is, it's now the weekend. I mean, good news for me, anyway. I know some people couldn't care less about the weekend. Or their weekends aren't the usual weekend. You get a completely different conception of what the weekend is when you're uh, working in the restaurant industry, for instance. Okay, what are we up to? Did no other survive? This is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were... We... Oh, right. Yeah. That does make a lot of sense why it's kind of shitty in the northeast this weekend. Pull yourself together, lad. We're going to make an offering of crystals to Ralgar, to summon him, J just like the Masked Man taught us. Plotted to sneak into Zanrak and make off with the Lizardsman's cash, but they caught us, and so many dead. Gods forgive me. Heathens, you shall pay for your crimes with your souls. I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a price to pay for youthful, youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of the Alamegan people. This hope I will guard with my life. Let's go, Pugilist. One on one, man. Hey! Hey! <laughs> nah, I uh, poked in to check her out after she followed me, and uh, she seems pretty cool. Just takes me a little bit to warm up to chatting and anything.
Thanks for recommending me to her. Who's the healer? Something else? Nope, okay. Skill at arms is impressive adventure. Her wayward use could learn much from a man like you. Battle is won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let us return to little Alamigo. Wait, we've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, right for the picking. You learned nothing, Wilred? Did you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? No one said anything about that. The masked man told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Ralgar. He swore. Enough. We'll hear the rest of the story back in Alamigo. I dare say Archon will wish to hear it as well. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what you uh, what you got yourself into, Ulrid. Thank you, outsider. Your victory is already the talk of the town. They may not mark the en that may not mark the end of the Corps Brigade, but at least know that at least now they know we're not afraid to fight fight back. To think these men and women were once my countrymen. Do they know no shame? Back in the heyday of Alamigo, the Corps Brigade served our nation with pride and honor. It saddens me to see what they have become but I would slay them down to the last if it would ensure that they besmirch our homeland's name no more. Basically, this is Alamigo. And there's an exit there, and an exit there, and an exit there, and th there's like a hole in the wall uh, above, right about there, that you can fly out of. No more lies, Wilrid. Tell us everything. It's outside with the others when he appeared, the masked stranger told us about summoning Ralgar, about using crystals, and then just vanished. We never saw him again. I wanted so desperately to believe that we could raise ourselves from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives. But I should have known. There's no solution. Nothing that can do to change our lot. People are doomed to live and die like beasts. Not really. Listen to me, Wilred. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who you are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on within us all. It is for you to decide what to make of this legacy. Wh whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I won't. I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you.
My thanks as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may not have much in the way of comfort, but you'll always be welcome here. After you kicked me out until I came back with a letter from some Alamigan out in the middle of nowhere. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Wilgrid told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you'll find and put a swift end to the creature, for the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned words. Minfilia, pray return to the waking sands. Level are we up to? Up to level 27 on the MSQ. Welcome back, Archon. I'm reliably informed the investigation took you to Quarry Mill in Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of La Habrea? Entered the knowledge of summoning and impressionable young minds, you say? Precisely the kind of deception the Asians would employ. While many of the ills that ail the land can be attributed to the Calamity, some are being brought about by a malign will. We must needs delve deeper into this, while things remain quiet on the primal front. All work and no play makes Minifilia a dull scion. Hm? Did you say something? N nothing, milady. Hmm. Mayhap we ought to rest a while before speaking further of the investigation. While you were tending to business in Thanalan, some new information arrived courtesy of our friends, the Sylphs. An individual fitting La Habrea's description has been sighted in the North Shroud. This sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the selfsame area. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. While willing, we'll pick up La Habrea's trail once more. Norasha can furnish you with the details. Pray speak with her, and take it from there. As always, be careful out there, Archon. One of these days I'll take the trip up to the Golden Saucer. Walking one is to investigate Sinister One? Then heed well this one's words. This one is friends with a walking one in the Ashtown Ground Consortium. According to Friendly One, a digging one named Medrod had an encounter with the scary Masked One. This Masked One is most certainly Sinister One. 
Walking One should go and speak with Digging One Medrod. Digging One is to be found at Falgard Float in the North Shroud. Okay, do I have a tune to there? Is this the closest? Eh. Uh, North Shroud. It's just a path in from New Gridania. Okay then. I'll report to Gridania it is. Botanist Guild looks like the closest Ethernet point, so there we are. Wait, is it? No. This is the way. Can I just go out the silver? Yes, I can just go out this gate. The easiest can. Easiest achievements in the game. You have entered a zone. Have an achievement. Hello. Coming to lend a hand, have you? Well then, you're welcome to a task from my seemingly never-ending list. I'll need you to head west along the road and scrub down two of the malmstones. I swear by Nofica, those signs accumulate dirt and grime with almost unnatural haste. Speak with Kajwana at Treespeak Stables once you've seen to them. She'll be glad to hear the Malmstones are clean. For the next three bells, at least. Knows. Got a couple of quests up here. You want for work? I have need of an adventurer willing to dirty his hands. Hmm? No, no, I speak not of dark deeds. I mean, only you have to deliver something. I would myself would dare not venture deep into the Twelve's Wood, but you seem more than capable of defending yourself. My colleague Gillian will furnish you with them in the in, with the item in question and provide all the necessary directions. Should be, she should be somewhere behind the stables supervising the field hands. If you got a mind to make yourself useful, why don't you call some mightlands for us? Train a lot of chocobos here, see? And the youngins go wild when they get a sniff, sniff of a mightlin. Some even throw their bloomin' riders. Let me tell you, it ain't an easy it ain't easy training a chocobo when she drops you on your head every time she sees a shadow. We've been getting nowhere with the birds lately. If she could rid us of a few mightlins, we'd be in your debt. They're like around there. I think Suli convinced, uh, or maybe Anaya checked out Garden Paws, and that's where Suli started to get uh, very interested in Garden Paws. Well, I'll be. Beyond actually found someone willing to lend a hand. Grab one of them burlap sacks over yonder, top the crate, aye? Taint the most convenient location to be sure, but where else can we store that stinking shite? Know where a visiting customer might catch a whiff, that's for sure. Deliver it to L Nolanel down at Blessed Butt. That's Westy here, in case you were wondering. It seems our conjurer friend takes his garden in pretty bloomin' seriously. 
uh, burlap sack. Couple of mitlings over this way. Wild Flowers looks like, sounds like an interesting name. There are a, is like Portia more or less just its own genre nowadays? Because it seems like there's a ton of games that are very similar. In terms of like the overall playstyle, well, I guess Porsche is even just like an expansion on Stardew Valley, really. Um, guess at the end of the day, Porsche is kind of like Stardew Valley crossed with Minecraft. That odor. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Praise be to the Eternals. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. The bounty of chocobo manure shall nourish the plants and ensure our con their continued growth. Please relay my sincerest thanks to Vion. Upon your return to Tree Speak Stables, and a word of advice. Wash your hands quickly. Lest the cloying stench of feces linger. Thanks for that. It's always fascinating to me to watch, like, these massively innovative games become entire genres. And just people put their own little tweaks on it, and... Welcome back, friend. Hmm. Gather from that smell that the task is complete. Oh my, did I neglect to inform you of the sack's contents? I cannot apologize enough. That would certainly explain why you agreed to help when countless other turned their noses up at the idea, so to speak. Well, what's done is done. Please accept this for your troubles, along with my thanks. Thank you for your help. We can finally get back to training the young birds. Chocobos are skittish by nature, see? And training them takes a deal of patience. Don't take, make the task any easier that soldiers and adventurers tend to ride them towards danger rather than away from it. Any road. We're thankful for the help. Here's a small token of our gratitude. I haven't forgotten how you helped us out with them mitlins. Speaking of which, if you got a bit of time to spare, could I trouble you to gather some aphids? We can find them living in the on, in the tangled undergrowth in your blessed bud. Don't be surprised if your presence attracts a starving laden bug or two. They're rather fond of the wee vilekin, you see. When you've gathered the aphids, deliver them to Captain Guthrit over at Etat Spire. And tell him. Tree Speak Stables sends its regards. No. Yeah, I've given Porsche tries a couple times, and I know there's now like a new one, uh, my time at Sandrock. I think the construction is a little unintuitive. And like you get to construction before you really learn to find a bunch of item types. Also, the game had stability issues for me and kept crashing, which is um, usually a problem.
What's that? You've been cleaning mom stones? I thank you. With all the chores that need doing around here, I was afraid they would go they would be left to get even filthier. It's not just that they're an eyesore, by the way. In that state, the creatures around here want to lay their eggs on them. As to why, well, I can only assume their preferred nesting trees are in short supply these days. Be that as it may, we can't have monsters hatching from roadside signs. These paths are dangerous enough as it is. Perhaps a sprinkle and a sting brew would keep the beasts away. 